Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the world's biggest stars and some of my favourite people and new artists as well who are different and exceptional and incredibly beautiful. Danish pop sensation Sada Vadu is out with a new album. She's already had a number one hit in her own country and she's about to take over the world with her new single, The Actress, and she joins us on the programme today. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you so much for calling. Well, I really appreciate it. And I'm trying to get my head around you because I Google you. And is it nice being Googled, by the way? Yeah, I love that. I love that part. So I Google you and there's sort of two yous, isn't there? There's an old you and there's a reinvented brand new you. That is true. That is very much true. You're a very good journalist. That's very true. <laughs> it's amazing how you've had this transformation and it's all part of this new brand, which is Sada Vadu, And you've transformed yourself from this beautiful, natural looking brunette girl next door into this incredible sort of Barbie doll looking thing. Um, it must be a lot of work, that. Well, you know what? I just wake up one moment and I thought, Oh, well, why do I have to follow fashion? Why don't fashion follow me? I'm going to wake up every morning. I'm going to put on my best dress like it's Saturday night. And I'm going to have a blast. Because, you know, life is too short to go around and just wait to be Saturday. So that is what I did. It's amazing, though, that you're in a position to do that. I'm a deeply unattractive ginger fella. And it's not going to work if I try it. No, no, I wouldn't recommend it to any boys, though, unless you is that, unless that's the thing for you. So. <laughs> you've had huge success, and you've been at this a long while. I mean, since two thousand and seven, you've you've gone platinum. You've had top selling songs in Turkey and Poland and Scandinavia. Yeah. I guess that dance thing is always going to be big business, and that's really where you've made your name, isn't it? Well, you know, one of the one one of the things that I really loved was touring with Turbo B, Snap. I toured with them for a lot of years. I was the lead singer. It was an amazing gift in my life. The whole thing about singing, I've got the power, and you know, all that stuff. Mm. It was it was songs that had a big, great impact in my life, and I guess touched a lot of people. And it was amazing to see once you get you know out there among the Osmonds and and feel you know, the whole vibe, it really, it really makes it all worth it. And coming together with Ross Ballard and Christian Bally doing this album, um, we put a, a couple of, you know, dubstep dance and all the feel. You know, it's a merge of everything I was and is today. That, that's the best way I can say it. There are a lot of people are saying that you're the new seer, and I suppose you're not, you're you, she's the new seer, and I hate comparing people, but I know why they say that. I mean, seer to me is an incredible voice, aside from all the nonsense with standing backwards on on TV and all of that and not wanting to be revealed uh, which is great shtick and I understand the PR of it she's fundamentally yeah. an amazing amazing songwriter and singer and that's why it's a compliment to compare you to that I mean your yeah, voice is it. so resonant and it's got such great bass to it and, and a beautiful roundness congratulations on that Thank you so much. I must add, Sia is one of my favorite singers and I just, I think she did an amazing thing with the chandeliers and everything. I love that song. One of my favorite songs at the moment. Some people just take time before they find their soul in art and, and you know, you're not ready until you're ready. And, right. uh, you know, you can't jinx it. You know, you have to, you have to be ready. And, and for me, also doing all these years, writing with all these different people and artists was so exciting and I loved it. And a lot of people ask me, why didn't you do that song, 10 Miles with Inferno, that went to the top yourself? And it wasn't for me. It was just not for me. I wasn't ready. It wasn't for me. It was for them. And that is, that is how you feel about your masterpiece. Is that you create something for, for, for other people and you have to really feel it before you own the song. Mm -hmm. And I guess through all this time, through all this period, this is what happened. I just suddenly realized I needed to find my own space and there I was, all the video, all dressed up and it was, it's been a blast getting you, to where I'm at. What yeah. you say though is fascinating to me because I'm an incredibly arrogant man who has a huge ego. If I'd got something as brilliant as what you've given away, I'd keep it for myself. It must be quite brave and safeless to say, okay, you can have it. Well, you know, it never really leaves you. You know, it never leaves you. It's always there. It's always a part of you. Like every time they sing the song, is still a part of me. And I guess that's one of the things that me and Ross Ballard always connected about. Like it's a part of him. No matter if it was Kiss who sang his song, Hot Chocolate, whatever, it still was a part of him. It was his lyric and his mind thinking. So you know, and, and there's nothing more beautiful than other people performing 
doing one of your songs really that that's been a that's been a great experience to see somebody express something so real it's mm. that's been amazing you know what worries me about you is that initially people might not realize how brilliant you are as a singer and an artist because there's all the hair and all the makeup and all the gimmicks that go with it. Did you ever wonder whether it does take away from the act or do you just see it that it's a celebration of your art? I kind of see it as going through a lot of rough times in my life. I was always had... Um, a problem with feeling something inside and outside I was looking something else I always felt like I was a doll you know I wake mm. up in the morning and I feel like a princess doll and and outside somebody saw me as another person so I kind of feel like I connected with my inside who I was really mm. and now I'm just expressing it outside and a lot of people should do that. That's that's also one of the things we do through life. We look in the mirror and who are you and who am I and what does people think of you and all these things. And I'm, I just believe that to be true to your inner self, no matter the cost, is must be must be what you have to achieve in life. And I saw the peace once I, I found myself, which is me, I started with you. How do you view your old self? Because when I look at those pictures, you are stunningly beautiful. Do you regard yourself as that? Well, you know, going through a lot of rough times, it was always a problem for me, my sexuality. I really think that instead of listening to my voice and the story I wanted to tell you, the people or, or a lot of people in the industry always looked at me as a sex object. Which I, which I kind of had a problem with because I was a serious artist with a serious mind and I had some serious business to tell you, you know? Yeah. So that kind of conflicted with my writing, my inner self and, and my thoughts about like what life was, life was all about. Are you yeah. trying to convince me as a deeply unattractive man then that being as beautiful as you are is sort of a curse? <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's a curse, but... You know, if you, if you have, if you, I, I was, I believed I was born in this world to make a different and, and I was born here to make a different in some way and God didn't give me this, this voice for nothing and he didn't give me, you know, the pen and the paper in my hands. I can create anything that I want in my mind. So I kind of thought that I was here to do, to make a difference and I always thought to my sexuality I always was like in between. The, the, the message I wanted to get across. So mm. as time grew, I was just like, well, I really need to find out a way to make them listen to my expression. And especially in where well, I've lived in London for so long. And in London, I just love the theatrical way, you know, the way you express yourself mm. and the stages are oh, so inspired. I can't tell you how much I love that city. And, and through all this process with Russ, I was just like, I want to be on stage and I want to express to them how I feel. And he was like, yeah, yeah, a lot of people do this in London. And I was like, yes, and that's what I want to do. So during this process, I just kind of like, this is my way of expressing my art. And, and you know, to this day, I don't even go to the baker without putting the makeup and the dress on because it's just such a part of me. This is right. who I am today. And uh, I know there was a girl yesterday I met outside and she's like, oh my God, I didn't think you existed. And I was like, I do, it is true, I am here, I'm real. And, and she said, oh, I would love to put on these beautiful dresses every day. And I guess that's what all girls dream about. And you know, even though you become a mom and you have your hurry life and all this, you still dream about being that princess one day, you know, get married, that big dress or that, you know, that's just how girls are. So mm. I guess that's, I'm a product of that. You can say We're that. talking today to uh, Zada Vidu. You can find out more at uh, zadavidu.com. That's S-A-D-A-V-I-D-O-O.com. Um, if you're wondering why the line's a bit crackly, we are calling you in foreign parts via Skype. Where are you right now? Well, right now I'm in the centre of Copenhagen. And uh, I'm in the studio rehearsing at the moment for my Danish tour. I'm going on a Danish tour in three months. And uh, we're rehearsing at the moment to get ready and go onto the big stage and be a little theatrical and show the people what, what this record is all about.
Very and good. And you know, my new single is coming out soon also. The actress just came out and there's a new single coming out in a couple of months and the album is on the way called A Story With No End. So I can't wait for people to hear it and see what they think. Well, I've listened online and I think it's extraordinary the effort you've gone to with your video and the album itself. It's incredibly high energy and you've put a ton of work into the video. That's sort of gone by the by now. People just tend to stand in a field and sing, don't they? They don't worry about videos anymore. No, I mean, like to me, it's always about the expression also. I really want to, I live in a different universe. I mean, in my universe, it's all about the dolls and it's about creativity and it's about being different and expressing yourself and you know just be you that's the fashion for me and and this is how my philosophy so I live in this universe and I try to to give some of that universe to the audience that's the best I can do are you happy I'm very happy more happy than you should know mm. I mean to me it's all about waking up in the morning and being happy and and it can be whatever you do in your life. Just wake up in the morning and be happy. And I mean, all my life I dreamt of, had this dream of being a singer, waking up in the morning, putting on the dresses, going on the stage, and here I am. It's like a, a dream come true, and I feel so blessed about it. I mean, it feels almost like a dream, but... I'm hoping it carries on. Well, again, the difficulty in life is finding contentment and happiness. It's the key to life, really, isn't it? It's the thing we struggle with the most. It is. And we're so consumed in our time now with all the digitals and all the, you know, all the things. We don't connect with a lot of people anymore. Everybody's on their iPhone. Everybody's, you know, on the Internet. And, you know, so I'm hoping that my album can, can inspire some people to to go to a concert and still enjoy music because I still mm. believe that music is, you know, the common language of life. Yeah. So. Sada has got an incredible voice. Her new forthcoming album is called A Story With No End. It's out very soon. You can find out more at a website, which is uh, sadavadu.com. And of course, the new single is uh, available now to listen on YouTube. And it really is extraordinary. A great effort personally, vocally, and of course, with the video as well. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you coming on. Find out more by going to sadavadu.com. Thank you, Sada. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye, out there.